Hello. What's up? My name is Julia and I am very happy that the sun just came back while I'm recording. <laughs> Uh, I am the Nordic Plant Girl and today I want to talk about my March haul and what's left of my haul from baby plants. Gosh, that took so long. Okay, so apart from the baby plants that are with my friend now, not that much is actually leaving because, I don't know, they just didn't ship well and the shipment was very very soggy and I think that's partially my fault because I got a heat pack afraid that the crazy weather in Finland was gonna drop below zero and the plants would die and but like they refunded me they are super cool and I would definitely buy from them again but I'm so scared right now because like one day it's like this the other day or an hour later it's snowing so I am scared <laughs> but you already saw the baby plant haul you saw what we got and I guess I will just say what they are um, how they are looking right now apart from my friends plants okay so uh, I don't want to get I don't want to get the the monstera the baby monstera that I got to put on my big monstera i will leave the video here that i'm doing if it's done by the time that i am editing this but there's a baby monstera deliciosa that is opening a new baby leaf and i'm recording a time lapse let me put this here <laughs> and i'm so happy about it that i got from rosarium as my boyfriend would call it skin dappy <laughs> the skin dapses is doing very well i had to repot it yesterday it had it has a ton of baby leaves i'm keeping it in front of my window to the outside it's a little bit like sad from rep after repotting and it did tear one big big root and i'm just hoping it's gonna grow more roots it was so stupid of me but anyway it's happy here it is head shot And then we have the Philo Brazil. Yay! This is also opening a bunch of leaves and it definitely needs a repot, but I have to buy a pot for it. It's it's opening like this bunch of tiny baby leaves. I'm not sure if it's adapting well or not. I'm hoping it is, but I think it needs a new pot. I don't like this pot at all. I don't like the way that this is this is actually a hanging pot, but it's not hanging because I don't like them to hang. I want this to climb. And I don't like these pots that you don't see the bottom of the pot. Like I get so anxious that the soil is too wet. Then we have this guy over here in the front. Not the big mama over here. I chopped her up. I think you probably saw the video, but and the, the plants are, the sticks, they're still sticks, but they are starting to grow shoots. I had to buy a rooting hormone, but I got this baby Adonzoniae over here. And it, look, it looks like it has a honey baby coming. And the big one also has a lot of shoots, so I'm happy about it. I just want a fuller plant. The Singonio Maria Illusion that I got from Endemicans, they are all being propped right now because I wanted stronger roots than what they came in and I'm propping them in perlite. So the Mikans is here, it's also rooting in the back over there. There's still some left from the original Mikans, but it just looks really sad right now. And I'm hoping that with TLC, so time, love and care, they are gonna be, and of course there is another Don't Sony Eye <laughs> over here. They are gonna be fine. Perlite prop for the Zingonium and the Mikans, as well as the other alocasias I have. Do you see the moss pole? Ready? <laughs> That's a baby Borosidiano with two leaves. Hi. 
Well, it's definitely the uh, the leaf that has like the longer internodes, or the leaf, the Monstera variation. I'm so afraid of dropping that has the longer internodes here. But I'm so happy. Look at this baby. I'm gonna make a closer shot of it, but. I also made a video when I created this moss pole, but obviously I have to I had to introduce. So I got this from a very nice lady called Reta from let me hug it higher so you can see the baby leaf. From uh through Facebook marketplace. It was a huge find. I was actually gonna pick up this pick this baby up personally, but then with all these crazy things that are happening in the world Obviously, I asked her to ship ship it to me, and here it is. Baby elbow. It was a really, really, really good find. There are people paying hundreds <laughs> for a two leaf rooted cutting, and I got lucky, and I am very thankful about this. And shout out to her because this baby is awesome, and the moss pole is not very firm right now so I'm just gonna put it back into in its place okay then we have two more plants that my friend Omme shout out to you I know you're watching got me and I will show you the videos that he made for me I love climbers and I love epipramnum and I've wanted an epipramnum for the longest time and they had one here where I live but they had like there are many forms of Epipramnum pinatum and there was the regular form there was the Cebu blue which has like a silvery kind of like the Hastatum Philodendron Hastatum kind of color and there is the regular and then there is a I'm not sure what it's called or if it's a tissue culture or if it's just like from a different endemic from a different place but it, there is one that has a bit darker intona tonation in the leaves which is the one that I found here in Kovala I did not get it because it had a little bit too much webbing on it and it wasn't looking too hot but then Tom me he visited this shop in Helsinki and he was like look what I found what is this and I'm like oh my god it's an epipremino pinatum I want it get one for me and then he got it, and I was like, oh, 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 yes, I can't believe it, finally. So he still has the plans. I have to send his babies. His baby survived, but mine, mine didn't. So, which I'm glad, honestly. I would felt really bad if my friend's babies would not have survived. Well, most of his survived, but definitely more than mine. And he also got me a Epipremnum arium manjula, which is the cutest little thing and it was such good finds like i think that epipremnum pinatum for four euros or for something what what a find and i'm so thankful that he found those two babies and i cannot wait to get them but you're only gonna see it in the next haul video for April, I know this is already April, but I'm just showing to you. Did you hear my wrist cracking? Anyway, I'm so excited about all of it, and I cannot wait till you see it live, like with me, those two babies. And well, I guess that that's it for March's haul, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, if you gotten any of these plants, like coincidentally as well this month, let me know down below. Or if you got other plants this month, let me know which. And if you enjoyed it, subscribe. It's free, and you will always see me on Sundays. Woo! Subscribe dance.